We are working since many years on our tumor in, uh, with immune, uh, the tumor immunologic questions. In particular, we are interested in immune escape of tumors. In addition, the institute is running biomarker studies as well as doing flow cytometric analysis of tumor samples. We are since a couple of years, since more or less three years, we are heading now on microRNAs. Uh, microRNAs are small, uh, non-coding RNA molecules, and these uh, microRNAs have been identified actually as uh, oncogenic and tumor suppressive microRNAs. And our concept is that microRNAs are also involved in uh, changing the immune responses of tumors and that's therefore that's the reason why we are heading in now into this microRNA business. Uh, in, in the way uh, what uh, we are believing or actually the long-term aim of my institute and my group is to use these microRNAs not only as biomarkers for monitoring immune responses for therapies but also as novel targets for immunotherapies. No, not yet. Actually, uh, the microRNA business is, is still in the kinder shoes, but as I showed already in my presentation, we have identified some very interesting microRNAs, which could be perhaps in the long run used as, uh, as novel targets. Uh, in the moment, uh, we are actually uh, using uh, natural uh, microRNAs, but on the basis, uh, once we would like to develop um, into the stuff into the clinic, we really will use synthetic uh, microRNAs. What we're actually doing, uh, this is a multifactorial process which we are developing. It's on the one hand, uh, we are trying first of all to identify these immune suppressive or immune modulatory microRNAs. And um, this is done by different methods, but then you have to prove whether these microRNAs are really putative binders to the respective immune modulatory molecules and also affect uh, their function. And this is done then in in vitro tissue cultures. And we have developed a couple of assays also for this. Yeah, it, it has been actually demonstrated, for example, that exosomes contain microRNAs, which then could be used also as markers, for example. I think, as I said, microRNA work is, at least in the field of immunotherapy, absolutely still in the kinder shoes and there are not so many groups working on this. But I think in the long run, it will be many, many groups who will work on this because they have a big potential. On the other hand, uh, these microRNAs could also tackle not only immune modulatory molecules, but also other molecules, and this really has to be solved.